Dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear students, this is how I address every day. So, the question was, how did you spend your two days holidays? That is, Saturday and Sunday. What was on Friday? Sir, Friday was Gauri festival. What festival was on Saturday? Sir, Saturday was Ganesh Chaturthi or Ganesh festival like that you can see. One more thing is a general question. <coughs> because the festival is already over, you can ask a general question 365 days. Do you celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi? Do you celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi? Or do they celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi? Or you have to make use of do for you and they. We don't usually ask questions, do I celebrate or do we celebrate? When we are making use of does, what you have to use? Does he celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi? Does he celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi? Does Ramesh celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi? Does Ramya celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi? You can ask. Any time, 365 days, you can ask like do or does. When the festival is over, uh, in the evening or the next day or after two days, you can ask like this. Did you celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi this year? Did you celebrate Ganesh festival this year? Or day before yesterday, then you can ask. <coughs> Sorry. Did you celebrate like that? You can ask. Yes, the answer will be remember one thing. When you are making use of do, yes, don't, doesn't, did, didn't, it is always followed by present form of verb. This I have told in previous classes number of times. Still, most of the students will forget. <clears throat> when the answer, when the question is asked and did, the answer will be in past tense. Did you celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi or did you celebrate Ganesh festival? You can say, yes, we celebrated or we didn't celebrate. That is temporary. We celebrated or we didn't celebrate this year because why my Grandfather passed away, grandmother passed away like that. So, dent is always temporary. I have told you, I keep on repeating the same thing. This we daily we speak this. It is come, it comes in our routine daily. I will say. <coughs> Do you drink tea? Yes, sir, I drink. Does she drink tea? Yes, sir, she drinks. No, I don't drink. No, she doesn't. Drink. That is permanent. Always 365 days, they don't drink tea. She doesn't drink tea. When it comes to did, it is only temporary for the day. Did you drink tea today? Did she drink tea today? Yes, she drank. No, she didn't drink. Yes, I drank. No, I didn't drink. It is only temporary. Did and did is always temporary. Do and does, doesn't is always permanent. <coughs> How did you spend your day yesterday or day before? Yes, sir, it was very good. Day before was Ganesha Chaturthi celebration in our house. I invited some of my friends. Some of my friends came to my house. They had lunch and went. Or you can say, I went to my friend's house. They also celebrated Ganesha Chaturthi like that, you can say. So these are the things you can say by using do, does, the, did and then. We frequently use these things in our day-to-day -day life. Frequently means many times. Many times we use this have, had, did, didn't, does, doesn't. Okay, did you understand? <clears throat> now coming to, I taught you about direct speech and indirect speech. I have taught you about active voice and passive voice. So once again, I will be teaching that uh, it will be a revision. I will start from the scratch from next month onwards. Again, what all I did in my previous classes, I will do it again from the scratch from A. Again, it will be a revision for you. For the students who have not 
watch this video so it will be a revision for you if you have watched it will be a revision for you for the new comers it will be something new no problem so it will be a revision now coming to <coughs> today what i have done is i have written some words about the professions i have written some words about the professions professions means there is no retirement for that profession means no retirement for example a manager in a bank there is a retirement for him a school teacher of course two is no problem headmaster headmistress a deputy collector a deputy commissioner a person who is working in a private firm that is called position that is not called profession deputy commissioner police inspector police sub inspector assistant superintendent of police superintendent of the police and major in railways or jamedar or something like that these are all called profession for all these there is a retirement police constable head constable sub inspector assistant sub inspector police inspector so there is a number there about the position for all those people there is a retirement when you come out of your office the retirement age may be 60 in some cases due to some emergency or something like that if the employees are shortage employees they may extend to one year or two years or maximum it will be for 65 years so narendra modi recently i think last year he made an announcement for there is an extension given for the doctors physicians and surgeon for another five years so we are running short of doctors so they can continue in the government service or in the private service for another 5 years after crossing the age of 60 and they can work up to 65 years that is what narendra modi was saying i don't know whether it has been implemented or not i don't know because i read it in the news there is no retirement for these people they are throughout their life provided if your health is in good condition you can serve the people so they can obtain your services the person who avails service from a profession the person who avails service from a profession he is called a client profession means it is <coughs> throughout the year as long as he lives or as long as his, his health is in good condition for example an accountant an accountant can be in office after retirement also he can come and sit at home and he can do accounts he can see the books of account of his clients a person who owns a company or a hotel or any business so he will be taking care of his accounts books so coming to artist a r t s t <coughs> an artist is a person who knows how to paint person who knows how to draw and paint pictures so there is no retirement for him he can sit at home and do it one more artist is there a r t i s t e that artist means if you add e to artist so there means all actors male actor female actor or called actress actors dancers singer the person who plays a music violinist guitarist choreographer all these people are called a film producer all these people are called artist so even for them also there is no retirement after 60 years no you cannot act after 65 years you have to stop nothing like that after 60 years you cannot sing you cannot play music nothing like that so artist has got no retirement <clears throat> come to auditor auditor is nothing but accountant auditor means he audits your books of account he will submit returns income tax return sales tax return to the government he checks your books of account for them you have to pay a fees it all depends some may charge 10000 some may charge 20000 some may charge 1 lakh depending upon the books on the volume of the business you do if you hardly do one crore business you may not charge more if you are doing business of hundreds and thousands of crores so the auditor fees will be something different it will be more so he will check your books of account and he will submit by paying tax all the tax has to be paid so he will give a <coughs> report about our statement of account so he is also an auditor if you want to be an auditor at least you should have studied ca chartered accountant 
child data content is also an auditor. Chartered accountant is also an auditor. Okay. So chartered accountant is also a professor. Now coming to architect. Architect means it comes after engineering. Architect is a person. What he does is, so you, you have a site, you want to construct a building, you want to construct a factory, you want to construct a hospital, you want to construct a something like a farmhouse, or you want to construct something else like a building complex. <coughs> so you will go to want a building to be built in this shape. In the point the architect is solving in the building on the weed is written, hospital is written, either or building is written. Adi in the Madi Rikino of being solving. So architect will have an idea. He will take the land measurement and will say he will write a picture. Everything is graphics. Everything is there on the <coughs> system. He will sit there and he will prepare and he will give the shape of the building. Your building will look like this after completion. Within one day, within two days, also you can give. Your building will appear like this. Your building will look like this. After the completion of the building, and the building will figure put so you will give a picture of that. So it will be similar. It will be similar. When you take the photograph now, and when you take the photograph after the completion of the building, it will be similar. So he is called an architect. So we are the clients. I told you that it's a professional means a person who is a client and who is a customer. Customer is one who goes and buys things. So everybody is a customer. A claim is one who avails services from a profession. Who are the profession? I have written a big list. So profession, author. Author is a person who writes, who writes stories, who writes poems, who writes some literature things. So he is called an author. So there is no retirement for that. No, no, sir, you already crossed 60 years. You already cross 65 years. No, you cannot. Nobody can say that. You know, as long as a person is healthy, he or she can continue the work. <clears throat> now coming to advocate. Advocate can also who practices in the court of law is called an advocate. A lawyer is one who a lawyer is one who prepares legal documents. For his claim is called a lawyer. A lawyer will not practice in the court of law. Whereas an advocate practices in the court of law, there is no age limit for him. He can also give guidance. He can also go and argue in the court of law. He is called an advocate. So there is no age limit. Astrologer. Astrologer na Sastra Pakrumbo. Sir, your time is very good. Sir, your time is not good this time. You have to do this. You have to do this rituals. Idu pannu no, ata pannu no. Rasi, go rasi. Idu sari illa, ata sari illa. So he is called the astrologer, sitting in a house, sitting under a tree, or sitting in one corner of the place. He can also do that. The people who believe go there and take some suggestions from him. So he is called the astrologer. He tells about your future. He tells what will you become, what will going to happen to you in future, what is good, what is bad. You should do like this, you should do like that. He will collect money. But most of the things may not be true. What he says, <coughs> some, some it not be true. The people who go to astrology, the people who believe in astrology will go to astrologer. So, Sastra Pakrava, time this is the other side. So, he is astrologer. He is a professional. For him also, there is no age limit. So as long as he is healthy, he can practice. Now coming to attorney. Attorney means a lawyer. Attorney general means a lawyer. He is a government, he is a public prosecutor. So he is called a lawyer. So he is also, there is no age limit for him also. So he can also practice anytime. So coming to banker. Banker means he is not a bank employee. Banker means he is not a bank employee. He does some money transactions. He to the bank or taking the permission from RBI or taking the permission from the government of the government of the state, state government or central government, whatever it is, wherever he does that business, he go and lend money like that. So he is called a banker. 
he is a private person he is not a public person he is not called a bank employee a bank employee is something different than a banker he has his own money maybe he might be having some shareholders maybe 10 crores or 20 crores he goes to rbi he takes permission from the banking sector from the finance department takes <coughs> he takes permission from that so that he could accept money and lend money so he that the business what the bank does so he is called the banker he is a private person is not the public servant coming to baker look at them a baker who makes bread in a bakery a baker is one who makes bread in a bakery not only bread bun cake puffs many other things he makes so he is called a baker so there is also no retirement age for this person as long as he is healthy he can be a baker a baker means a person who makes cakes pastries everything he is called a baker okay yes <clears throat> now coming to barrister barrister is nothing but a lawyer a senior most lawyer or not the question of senior most an experienced person so he can he goes to the supreme court or high court he goes to the higher court and there he plays his role so if you want to do barrister at law means you have to go to england that course is not in it. there it is nowhere in any part of the world in england like FRCP and FRCS. After MBBS MD, if you want to do FRCP, you have to go to England. FRCP means so a certificate will be issued to you after coming to India or anywhere else you can practice. So for that you should have done MBBS means Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery, and MD means Doctor of Medicine. The person who has done MD after MBBS. He is eligible to take up that course, FRCP. He has to go there and study. So, <clears throat> so what happens here? Yeah, like that. Similarly, if you want to do something, a specialist course in surgery, after doing your MBBS, you have to do MS. That is Master of Surgery. After Master of Surgery, if you want to do higher course or something like that, some advanced course, you have to go to England and do FRCS. Fellow of Royal College of Surgeons, so there will become something like a specialization in surgery. That is only in England. Similarly, barrister at law, you have to do law in India or anywhere else in any part of India. That is LLB, Bachelor of Law. Later, you have to do post graduation law. It's called LLM, Bachelor of LLM, Master of Law. After doing LLM, you can go to England and do. Barrister law. He is the lawyer. He is the lawyer concerned. So, <clears throat> then the role in the higher court means high court or supreme court. So he is called a barrister. Barrister is nothing but a lawyer who practices in the court of law. Now coming to cardiologist like that. In doctors, there is a big list. Doctors have doctors profession has got a big list because our human body is so complicated. But why the doctor for Ear, nose, and throat. There is a doctor for your teeth. There is a doctor for brain. There is a doctor for skin. There is a doctor for your lungs. There is a doctor for kidney. There is a doctor for heart. There is a doctor for stomach problem. There is a doctor for ladies problem. There is a doctor for children. There is a doctor for your bones. There is a doctor. Orthopedician is called. For bones, for everything there is a doctor. So everybody is specialized in that particular field. See, just for one human body, how many courses you have to do? If you want to do specialization in one particular thing, you have to do skin skin specialist, cardiologist, heart specialist, ENT surgeon specialist, eye ophthalmologist, dental BDS. Or MDS, Master in Dental Surgery. Something happens in your brain. Neurosurgeon, neurosurgeon, or called nephrology. Something happens in the kidney. There is a doctor for that. Something heart cardiologist. Something happens in the stomach. Something has to be operated. Is called a general surgeon. Okay, for a lady's problem, gynecologist, or you can call the obstetrician. 
obstetrician gynecology obstetrician about the pregnancy about the baby and pediatrician children a doctor a pediatrician can be a male or a female but gynecology is studied only by ladies but gents it is not given that post is not given that course is not given for see for one human body how many specialists are there if you go to a car only one mechanic car mechanic either repair or you can go as a wireless that's all or ac only one or two mechanics will be there if you go to the bike only one mechanic is a two wheeler mechanic cycle only one mechanic lorry one or two mechanics so for every field there will be one specialist person one or two so for a human body just imagine my dear friends how many specialists are there to take care of your human body for whom the human body is a what do you call that multi it's a it is not one machine you can say it has got some hundreds of machines inside our body separate <coughs> separate specialist is there for separate part of the body for lung there is a doctor for heart there is a, a person who does something pertains to heart will not repair your lungs the part, the person who who uh, repairs your lungs will not take care of your heart the person who takes care of the kidney will not take care of your intestine the person who takes care of your eyes will not take care of your teeth the person who takes care of your teeth will not take care of your eyes the person who take care of your ent ear nose and throat surgeon will not take care of anything else you will be specialized in one particular field how many each part has got specialists are there so everybody is called a doctor but he has to do specialization in different fields depending upon the parts of the body how many parts body contains so many doctors are skin there is a doctor any stomach problem there is a doctor general surgery there is a doctor your brain there is a doctor the person who is specific who is specialized in brain he will not go for heart surgery he will not you will not know he will not treat a skin skin problem patient he will not treat a <coughs> ears or nose problem patient so a neurosurgeon will not treat an eye patient an ophthalmologist is called an eye specialist he will not treat any other thing except eye because he is specialized only in eye see for example look at that how complicated our body is for each part there is He has to do specialization in that. Just imagine, just imagine like that. He is to only see the bones, not other parts of the body. So he is called what called? What is he called? Orthopedician. Orthopedician. He is called ortho means about the bones, skin about that, general surgery about many things are there. See, everybody is called a doctor. So what I mean to say is, if you want to do a big if you want to do, become a doctor you cannot become you cannot specialize in all the parts of the body you need one part you have to specialize after doing your mbbs not before that mbbs means it is general you should know the functions of the body what happens you should know what the body parts what are the functions what are the tablets medicine everything you get to know even medicine also you will not know what medicine if you give this medicine it will cure this disease if you do this medicine it will cure this disease a b pharma or m pharma graduate or a post graduate has to come and tell you ah so that is a pharmaceutical company will tell that so a doctor will not be familiar about the medicine no doctor will be familiar about the medicine yeah. what is that what do you call that the pharmaceutical the pharmacist come and explain to the doctors sitting in the clinic or goes to the hospital and said sir in the in, in the low in the marad gupta nalla ho sir because they are specialized into that field a doctor will not know to which what medicine the pharmacist has to say ah then only he will give a prescription he is not aware in general in office will has to come to the doctor and explain how this medicine works on this thing okay so just imagine doctor has got so many professions are there for to take care of your human body to take care of your human body 
so many people are there. It is not one person. Who is a doctor? He cannot take care of your entire body for whatever uh, ailment you have. No. But each, every part of the body, there is a doctor. There is not a doctor, there is a specialist. But it, uh, so coming to <coughs> no. what is this word? Conductor. A conductor is a person who issues ticket in a bus. In a train, he is called a TC. He is called a ticket collector. You all, most of the time, you buy tickets online. You buy ticket in a counter outside, not in the train. Tickets are not, not issued in the train. You buy it in a, at a counter or you book the tickets online. A TC will come to check whether you have a valid train ticket. You cannot take a bus ticket and travel in train or you cannot take a train ticket and travel in bus. That is not possible. The TC will be there. TC means TC. Ticket checker. Ticket checker. He is called a TC. Well, a conductor means a person who will be there in the bus. Issues the ticket in the bus only. He will not issue the ticket outside the bus. Or going to other places, someone can buy ticket at the counter. This is local. Even outside also, a conductor will issue tickets. In the middle, if you want to, if somebody boarded the bus in the middle, he will issue tickets in the middle also. Conductor means a person who issues tickets in the bus while traveling. The people who travel in the bus is called a passenger or a commuter. C-O-M-U-T-E-R. Commuter or a passenger. So that is about the conductor. A counselor. C O U N C I L L A R, counselor. Depending upon a particular area, maybe a population of 10,000 or 20,000, he will be, he will represent the person. This uh, counselor will be elected by the people once in four years or once in three years or once in five years, depending upon the, uh, the elections were held in that particular state. A counselor is nothing but a C O U N C I L L O R. The duty of the councillor is <coughs> to attend to the grievances of the local people over there. He is the representative. So there will be water problem in that area. There will be drainage problem. There will be road problem. There will be garbage problem. There will be electricity problem. There will be traffic problem. Many problems. He will collect the list of the problems. Grievances they call. Grievances of the people. And you will receive a representative of the people of that particular town. They will give a ward number. Ward number 57, ward number 67, he is the councillor. Ward number 92, he is the councillor again. So he is the people's representative, attends to the grievances of the people. Purchicha, yes. Now coming to one more councillor. C O U N S C L L O R. This councillor will be sitting. In you want to do some course. So he will advise you, he will give a suggestion. So he is called the consultation, depending upon your interest. So he will suggest, so you do, you take up this course, you take up this course, there is more value in this, there is more scope is this. So he will and guide us. So he is called the counsellor. He gives advice for certain reasons. He gives advice for some professions or whatever it is you want to do. So the counsel for this is C O U N S S S C L L O R. Coming to the word butcher, I already told you in my previous class. Butcher means a person who cut animals, maybe a sheep or a goat or a bull or a camel or whatever it is. So these are the four things they cut. Cows are not allowed; only bull is allowed, isn't it? So there is a particular space. Sorry. There is a particular place where the animals are cut. The name of that place is called Slaughterhouse. This I have told, I think, on Friday. Slaughterhouse, yes, L A U G H E T R. The place where animals are cut is called a slaughterhouse. The person who cuts the animals is called a butcher. B U T C H E R. The person who sells mutton and chicken and beef here, he only cuts the duties to cut the up. So coming to carpenter, a carpenter is a person who does woodwork, who does who does chairs, tables, cards, teapot, dining table, anything. 
like door, windows, anything. A person who does woodwork is called a carpenter. For him also, there is no age limit. As long as he is healthy, he can do the work. Oh, you got it? So he is called the carpenter. Coming to one more word, I did write that. <coughs> For example, oh, I write that. Coming to chef. C-H-E-F. Who is a chef? He is a cook in a three-star, five-star, four-star or seven-star hotel. There are only three-star, five-star and seven-star. There is nothing like four-star now. No two-star now. So it all depends upon the quality of the service. They are building everything, whatever it is. So the star is given depending upon the quality and how it is maintained. So he is called a chef or chef. C-H-E-F. He is not called a cook. A cook may be the person who uh, does cooking for a small functions in your area, in your house. So he will cook for 50 people and he will cook for 100 people or 200 people at a time. So he is called a cook. But here in star hotels, any person who cooks, makes food in a star hotel, he is called the chef. C-H-E-F. You got it? Yes. Coming to blacksmith. What do you mean by blacksmith? A person who does sickles, spears, swords, knives, or something like a hammer or whatever it is, he is called the blacksmith. So from iron. He is iron, you can say iron. So he is called a blacksmith. So coming to goldsmith. A goldsmith, you give a bar of gold, you give a biscuit of gold. There it is called a biscuit, it is in the form of a biscuit. I think it can the weight of the biscuit is 114 grams. 114 grams, 114.25 grams. You give a biscuit to him. It is got a bar or something like gold, it's like a ring, earring, nose ring, necklace, bracelet, and what called the so he is called the goldsmith. Okay. So coming to one more person is there, silversmith. The person who does who does some articles in silver it can be a plate, it can be a glass, it can be a bowl. Many things are made out of silver. So he is called the, they make lamp also. They make lamp also, they make glass, they make plate, they make chain also, silver chain, silver ring, everything they can do it. Silver bracelet, everything, whatever a person does out of silver, any ornament made out of silver, he is called, the person who makes that is called a silversmith. Iron, blacksmith, gold ornament, goldsmith, any ornaments made out of silver is called a silversmith. A doctor to have a degree, uh, to become a doctor, you should do PUC, <coughs> that is plus two pre-university course. Then afterwards you have to appear for exam in EET, National Eligibility Entrance Test or CET, Common Entrance Test. And then you have to get a good number of marks, outstanding marks. Then you will be selected for MBBS. MBBS, I told you, Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery. After doing MBBS, you have to do MD. MD is only a physician who takes care, who examines your body and gives you medicine. He will not perform any surgery because he is not a surgeon. Further, you have to do specialization that is called MS in different fields. I told you, you know, lungs, heart, skin, bones. MS has got a very big list. MS has got a very big list, but MD is only one. You speak about the illness, nature of illness and medicine. That's all. Now coming to extraction. Extraction, implanting your teeth, like artificial teeth, many things are there. If you go to the dentist, he will give a big explanation. So, if you want to do, an, an, uh, if you want to become a dentist, you have to do BDS. BDS means Bachelor in Dental Surgery. The post graduation is MDS, Master in Dental Surgery, so that you can become a full fledged. You can become a full fledged dentist by extracting your teeth. Installing your teeth, artificial teeth, root canal, and uh, filling your teeth. Many things are there in teeth. It is only about teeth you have to do. So he is called a dentist. Provided. 
Electrician. Electrician is a person who does electrical work. It can be at home. It can be at office. It can be in a. It can be in a chowdhury. It can be in a school. It can be in a theater. It can be in any business establishment where it can be outside. It can be inside electric pole, outside or inside. So he is called the electrician. Also, there is no retirement age. He is a professional. Even no, they will say, sir, you have already crossed sixty. You cannot do this. Work. If he knows the work, I am telling. Until he knows the work, until he keeps his body fit, he can do the work. So he is a professional. What I mean to say is, professionals they don't have the retirement age. As long they can do with the job. Coming to plumber, a plumber is a person. A plumber is a person. Who takes care of the water and lavatory pipes, drainage and water pipes? So he can do it in a house. He can do it in a building. He can do it in any about water pipes and lavatory pipes, drainage pipes. So he is called the plumber who does all those work. <coughs> Now, engineer. Engineer is a general word. There are many courses in engineering: chemical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering. Electronic engineering, mechanical engineering, many courses are there like doctor. Many courses are there like doctor. The common word is engineer, aeronautical engineer, chemical engineer, civil engineer, mechanical engineer, electronics engineer, electrical engineer. Like that, there is a big list of engineers. So all these people are called all <coughs> all these people are called professionals. Professional in their respective field. Civil, electrical, electronics, and computer engineer is there. Information technology, many, many things are there. So all these people are got professions in a different field. So they don't have any retirement. They can sit at home and work. Okay. So they're coming to entrepreneur. Entrepreneur means a business person. It, it can be any business, a cloth business, a steel business. Entrepreneur, it can be a grocery business, any business. It can be books business. So any business person is called an entrepreneur. Okay. So coming to programmer, the person who programs on TV, he gives a program. So he sets up a program, give it to you. He will charge for that. So he is called a programmer. He is also a professional. For him also, there is no retirement. Always a teacher. So he is a who is your class teacher? He is a math teacher. He is an English teacher. A teacher is a common gender. A teacher can be said for he or she. <coughs> a teacher can be a lady or a man. After retirement from the school, after because it is in college it is lecturer and professor. In college they are called as the lecturer. Earlier there was a post known as the reader. Now that has been removed. Over a period of time. Lecturer, or if you, if you do some PhD or something like that, or depending upon a service, so you will be promoted as a professor. First is lecturer, then as a professor, you become special. Teacher is common. Teacher is a common gender. It can be a male or a female. A teacher after retires from the school, he can sit at home and teach students. He can go to tuition. So still he works from home. In some private school, they may require retired teachers also. It all depends. It is not. It is not that retired teachers. A person who has already crossed 16 will has cannot work in a private school. It all depends because only government service there is a limit. Private there is no age limitations. In private you can work. Only in government job there is a limit because some other have to occupy your place. Just to seek the employment, so they will retire at the age of 60. That is the college, state government, or central government. In private, there is nothing like retirement. You can work as long as you are healthy, isn't it? So private, as there is no retirement in the private, as long as you, know, the company requires you. If you are good at the work, if you are beneficial, if there is outcome. If the company is not benefited by you, if the company is showing a loss because of you, they will immediately terminate you. As long as you are 
beneficial to the company so the company will keep you there is no retirement in a private companies for all these professions and he can do on his own also. so okay coming to uh, tailor a tailor is also the same <clears throat> you can sit at home and stitch clothes stitching clothes pants shirts coats suits ladies garments are number there are many there are many like that in ladies garments so the very very common thing is blouse so blouse they charge i have heard about they charge even 25000 rupees to stitch about blouse depending upon the design and whatever the costume it is it all depends so the depending upon the quality of the cloth or some you have to place some something like that what you call that uh, some gem stones or something like pearls and all will be there so it all depends so tailor is also a profession there is no retirement for a tailor he can sit at home or anywhere on a footpath or under the tree. so he is a tailor and other name for tailor is draper d r a p p e r other name for tailor is called draper coming to trainer a trainer can be of any age no problem <coughs> Only in government, private, you can train. Say, I am a trainer. I am sixty-seven, but still I train. Now, that's what I told you. Know all these professionals can work as long as they are healthy. The only healthy are from that put up with the salary, provided they want to work. They want. They, if they don't want to work, that is left to them. Now, if they are not healthy, then we talk about that. That is different. So, if you want to work, a mechanic, a mechanic can be a car mechanic. A mechanic can be a motor mechanic. A mechanic can be a fridge mechanic. A mechanic can be a washing machine mechanic. A mechanic can be he be he is called a mechanic. He is called a mechanic. For him also there is no retirement. For him also there is no retirement. Okay. Now coming to painter who paints the walls, who paints the doors, who paints the windows, who paints the compound wall. For him also. He is called a painter, but he is not an artist. Artist means who paints pictures and draws paints. Artist is different from this painter. This painter is not an artist. Artist is who paints and draws pictures on the board or, or on the sheet. One, you give him a paint, he will paint the walls, the door, the windows, the compound wall, or below wherever it is. So for him also, there is no retirement age. As long as he is healthy, he can do that work. He is called a painter. Coming to mason, who is a mason? Mason is a person who cons who undertakes the construction of a building. It can be house, room. It can be a school, school construction, a very big construction factory, building a factory, building school, building a hotel, building a hospital, anything. A person who does the big work. Maybe <coughs> cement brick or mud brick. Any person who does a brick work or what do you call that sealing everything. So he is called a mason. The person who is in house construction, the person who is under house construction, he is called a mason. M A S O N. For a news reader who reads news in the on TV or on FM, it can be audio or video. on the radio any person in the radio any person who reads the news is called a news reader in the video also on tv who reads the news is called a news reader for them also there is no retirement age so if you are capable of speaking properly if you are capable of if your fluency of the language is very clear if there is a clarity in your speech so you can continue as a news reader as long as you can the patient and give medicine so he will not perform any surgery to be a physician mbbs is enough or you can do md specialized is md still more specialization you have to go to england and you have to obtain a degree as frcp frcp means fellow of royal college of frcp fellow of royal college of physicians mbbs i already told you bachelor of medicine bachelor of surgery md means doctor of medicine only this so he is not it he doesn't know how to perform surgery so he will only examine the patient outside the patient 
and he will prescribe medicine. So he is called a physician. A physician is also a doctor. A surgeon is also ophthalmologist, specific name. Ophthalmologist means I, he is also a doctor. Cardiologist, he is also a doctor. Heart. Orthopedician, he is also a doctor. He takes care of your bones. Dentist is also a doctor. An ENT surgeon is also a doctor. A skill specialist is also a doctor. Okay. Ne <clears throat> Nephrology about the general surgeon is also a doctor. Physician is also a doctor. The general term is a doctor. When he does any specialist courses under the medicine, so a separate name has been given. So everybody is a doctor. Surgeon is told who performs surgery. Can be any person or, or uh, surgery it can be kidney, it can be liver, it can be intestine, it can be lungs, it can be uh, heart, it can be brain, it can be your bones, it can be inside anything. So he is a surgeon. He is a surgeon. Different names are there. Heart cardiologist, eyes and all they do it. Brain, if you do any surgery in the brain, is called the neurosurgeon. Okay. <clears throat> so it's called surgery. Waiter. Coming to waiter, the person who serves in a hotel is called a waiter. Need not be two star or a three star. In any hotel, you call him a waiter, please come here. So he will you have to order the food. You have to give an order for the food, what all you want, chicken biryani, mutton biryani, masala, dosa, this thing, that thing. Many things are there. He will the customer will ask you the menu card. He will give the menu card. Yes, sir, what, should, what are you going to order? He will write in a small slip or in a small booklet and he will supply the food at your table. He will supply the food at your table. So he is called the waiter. W-A-I-T-E-R. So coming to cartographer. <coughs> cartographer means a person who makes maps. Who makes maps of Karnataka, India, world map, anything. Who makes map of that place is called the cartographer. So coming to engraver, who, who makes some pictures on the wall, he engraves by chiseling, by cutting, cutting, cutting. So he is called the engraver. It can be on the land, it can be on a stone, it can be on the wall, it can be on the door, they do it. So he is called the engraver. Coming to journalist. Coming to journalist. A journalist is a person <clears throat> who does a specialist course, goes to the college and he gives, he collects the information, collect the information from all parts of the world or from the state, specified, maybe his own town, maybe his state, maybe all states, maybe in India, maybe throughout the world, he'll collect the information, what has happened about the past, it's called history, what, what happened, accident, promotion, education, it is about advertisement, it is about sports, it is about uh, what do you call that uh, stock exchange, everything he will collect. What, there, is, there are special persons for that. One person will be one person will be given for sports in, in uh, this thing about the court, one person will be about the state assembly and central parliament so they will be so they will be enlisted. So this person will be appointed in a particular place. So they will collect the information and they will give a write note and they will give to the newspaper. So that content only we learn. We read every day on the newspaper. We read every day in the newspaper because the information given by a journalist, the information given by a journalist, he will collect information throughout the state throughout the district or throughout the country or throughout the world and you will write that everything you will take a what do you call that you will type or do whatever it is you will collect the information and goes to the newspaper so that news what it happened yesterday what it happened previously we are doing today so it is all about the past the newspaper gives about the past news it will give only the live telecast what you see on the TV what is there in the newspaper? It has already happened. Or some future also they will take. It is going to happen on a particular date. Results will be announced. He will be promoted. This will be announced that you read the newspaper is of the past. What all happened when he can give. So 
so what is there in the newspaper some may not be true also but maximum 75% will be true but some may not be true also when 35 people have dead so this newspaper will give only 20 when 100 have dead they will give 200 something like it can be exaggerated because we don't know we don't know what the journalist gives to the newspaper they will print it whatever journalist gives to the newspaper true but still 71% you have to take it for granted it is true only isn't it and what happened when i didn't see that it was there in the newspaper i read it this morning it was there in the newspaper it was there in the newspaper and the discussion i read it in the newspaper it was there it doesn't mean that it is true 75% may be true and 25% may not be true so the work of the journalist is to give the information what had happened he collects the information every minute every second by by the end of the day or in the evening or in the night it waiting 12 o'clock then 4 o'clock 5 o'clock all the newspaper are ready for distribution so it will newspaper printing will take very fast not something like 50 70 years back it is to take slowly now everything has been computerized as long as you receive it in the computer the news it keeps on printing news printing so that is how yeah so <coughs> i hope you enjoyed this class very much because i was telling you about the professions all these professions means all the person what all i have written on the board there is no retirement for them they can work as who work as a designated post position manager assistant manager deputy collector deputy commissioner military captain brigadier howdar subedar major or any other post for them there is a retirement for politicians also there is no retirement for a politician there is no age limit to become a prime minister there is no age limit to become a education minister or a chief minister so anybody can contest for the election if they get elected by the people he can continue as long as he is alive something like okay i hope you enjoyed this class very much we shall continue the class tomorrow at the same time meanwhile have a good day thank you very much may god bless you all loka sanga sukino bhavantu